Listen. Be ye followers of me, mm -hmm. even as I also am of Christ. And that you do what? Now I praise you, brethren. That you remember Christ. That you remember me in all things. And keep the what? Ordinances. And Jesus. As I delivered them to you. They folks not going to be saved. Paul said, I praise you if you remember me in all things. You keep all the just like I gave them to you. Mm -hmm. They all New Testament creature. Why you ain't obeying what Paul said? You just creature from the Black Lagoon. Mm -hmm. Ain't no new in it. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Your heart black. Listen to the book. But I would have you know. I want you to know this. That the head of every man is who is Christ. See, this is only time I marry men. If you ain't married, Christ ain't your head. Cause listen, why? That the head of every man is Christ. And what? And the head of the woman is the man. See, only the woman that married, the man is her head. The head of the woman is the man. That's when you just dumb. So I had to cut my head on marriage. See, he's not my head because you're not saved. Paul said, I praise you that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances just like I give them to you. The, the ordinances are the law. Keep the law just like I give it to you. Come on. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. See, God is not over Christ if Christ not married. See, if Christ married, God not over him. Because the woman, the man not over the man, over the woman if she married. These folks always twisting something up. How everybody else got no bed, but she don't have to bed. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Listen. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Do what? Dishonoreth his head. Every time a man praying with a hat or a scarf on, I tell y'all, brother, y'all be on the ground. Get your hands off your done head. Amen. That's right. I don't know what y'all do. Where y'all get this praying from like this? Where y'all getting this stuff from? I don't teach that. Amen. I put my hand down here. He ain't covering my head. Amen. He said, every man that pray a prophesy with his head covered. Dishonoreth his head. Ain't no wig, no covering. You got an idol hat. That's right. Got a done, might well run out there with done, uh, what that, um, that boom fella. What's his name? Daniel Boone. You get, look, got a raccoon <laughs> on your head. Big giant rat on their head. No, good way you ain't saved. <laughs> Listen to the book. David Crockett. Listen. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered. That is what? Dishonoreth her head. She dishonoreth the man. Listen. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. Now that may come a sense. A woman ain't got her hair on. That's the same as if she was shaving. How is that the same as she is shaving? Or oh, that is exactly what it is. That's what it is. Folk just stupid. How you going to listen to this statement for every woman that prayer with her head uncovered it do what? Dishonoreth her head. Why? For that is even all one as if she were shaven. How that equivalent to she shaving? That's the same done thing. She bald headed. Folks just stupid. That's right. That's if she don't have a covering on her head. He said that jet likes her head. Her hair been cut off. That's this is right. what he said. For if the woman be not covered. Listen to that now. If the woman don't have hair on her head. Let her also be shorn. Make sense to me? Every one of y'all sisters just take a scarf out. Y'all come here and you ain't got your hair on. I'm just going to cut it off. <laughs> y'all take them out. Come on tomorrow. Every sister come in here, mother, if y'all come in here and y'all ain't got your hair on, I'm going to cut them off. I know that's funny. That's real stupid. That's how stupid they are sitting in these churches. That's right. They read it and sit here and read, listen to this. Thing. How that makes sense? He's talking about the hair on your head when he say every woman that do what now? That prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. And what happened? For that is even all one as if she were shaven. So listen to what he said. For if the woman be not covered. If the woman don't have hair on her head. Let her also be shorn. Let it be clipped or shaven off. Mm -hmm. That make common sense. Are we to believe Paul wrote a response for about 28 books and he was that dumb. He didn't know the difference between hair gone and hair shaved need to be shaven off when it's gone. <laughs> That's right. Man, I sat here and done told us in Galatians 1 11 that he certified us that the gospel he preached was not a man, neither was he, neither he received a man. He got about revelation. And Jesus couldn't reveal this stupid fella that hair off your head is the exact same as being shaven. Mm -hmm. And I didn't believe that Jesus came, Jesus came and taught Paul. And Paul couldn't tell what's identical. Well, I tell you the truth. Folks, you know what? If you got a degree, you ought to tear it up. You ought to, church, you ought to ask your pastor. So I want you to explain to me, pastor, how do I come into church without my hair and you cut it off? 
See, 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 God. Amen, amen, God. See, God. And his omnipotent power. God. Amen, amen. God, God, God. See, God moves in mysterious ways. Play for going to hell. Listen to what he told her now. Listen to this now. Let's see, that makes sense out of this now. How many of y'all, let me see y'all with degree. Anybody been to college? Raise your hand. Been to college? Got your degree? Y'all got degree? I'm going to make sure. How many of y'all got y'all in journalism, English, anybody? Ain't but one back there. I stopped these dark. Allen. <laughs> Valley Middle. Come on. Let's see y'all help me out. The rest of y'all got degree. And he got, y'all help me understand this part right now. Listen to what he said. For if the woman be not covered. Listen to that. Now, if the woman don't have no hair on her head. Let her also be shorn. Okay, cut her hair off if she ain't got no hair on her head. Come on now. But if it be a shame yeah. for a woman to be shorn or shaven, yeah. let her be covered. Now, let me get this straight, Paul. She ain't got no hair on her head. I need to cut it off. <laughs> clip it. Just clip it off. Come on for me, you brother there. You're not a woman. You're coming for something. Now, if a woman came to church and her hair was like this, her hair was like this right here, which means she did not have a cover. I need to just clip that off. Hey, clip it off. Right. That's right. That's what I need to do is clip. That is just totally ignorant. This is just totally preposterous, just downright, just the dumbest you can be. That you will send the church and let a man tell you, this man talking about your hair, when he just said, if you don't have on your hair, to clip it off. Am I to believe Paul is that stupid? No. Am I to believe that Paul is that ignorant? Because I'm not that stupid, and I skated through high school. You good, man? I mean, some stuff don't make sense. <laughs> it don't make sense. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But then you try to ask them, if her hair is her covering, then what you going to do about these men here praying with their hair on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, ask your pastor. Say, now, so Pastor, you got to cut, and he done went and got, and done got that leather strap on the back of his neck, and done spent all that money for that, for that poodle. Man, that fella ain't finna cut that stuff off. He the whole book wrong. He ain't finna cut that stuff off. I mean, you got a line of precept, got to be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line. How exactly, if your hair's your covering, then explain to me how, man, every one of y'all brother got hair on your, you, you sin. Be by the dumbest other fellow. I went to the true church. His dad was, went in the refrigerator trying to get something to eat. His, his son stopped and closed the refrigerator back on him. He said, what you doing? He said, the Bible said, if any man don't work, neither should he eat. His dad had retired from three jobs. He wouldn't let his dad get no food out of the fridge. Like he got his neck broke. He said, the book said, if any man don't work, neither should he eat. His dad retired from three jobs. Three jobs. crazy. <laughs> you can be so smart, you can smart your way right out the book. That's right. You can smart your way right out the book. But then the dumb part is, now you got to try to justify this and explain to me now, how do you come in without your hair and get it cut off because you didn't have it on? Mm -hmm. How do these men get to pray with their hair on and it's not their cover? Because he said every man that prayed with his head covered, what they, they understand exactly a man can't have no hair or nothing on his head. How they don't explain something about being on their head? Because you don't want to see it. Because you've been to the beard parlor. And the beauty parlor. You don't spend all that money at the parlor. And now you let your hair pride carry you to hell. Mm -hmm. Your hair pride going to carry you to hell. Because the man done told what to do. It's a house of prayer. Amen. He said, my house should be called a house of prayer. How you come to church, your head ain't covered. That's right. How you come to house of prayer, your head ain't covered. I don't know how these folks come to church, don't have no Bible. How that work? What well, these folks, he done showed them what people more know, but they search the scripture. Yeah. How they do that without the book? Yeah. You need to be able to read. Your soul on the line. Can I read this information? What, what is that he's talking about? Yeah. Your pastor done been cold up when he gave you the, the morning hymn. Yeah. He gave that morning topic, close up your Bible, and now you on, on your way to hell. I just had to shoot that out. That helped somebody out. Come on, give me that 20, um, 30 second chapter, if you would, of the book of Genesis.